Hello, this is Mr. Thompson with a video math lesson um, talking more about Pythagoras' theorem. And what we're going to do with it today is find the lengths of the legs, the shorter sides of a right triangle. Um, <clears throat> so we have our standard right triangle with the hypotenuse and the legs. Last video we looked at finding the hypotenuse. Now we'll look at finding the legs when we don't know the length of the legs. So there's basically one step, one um, or, or maybe kind of a couple steps here, but um, basically you're going to plug in the known values, whatever bits you do know, whether it's a hypotenuse or one leg or whatever, plug them into the formula for the for Pythagoras theorem, okay, solve the equation for the unknown, and simplify uh, your answer, okay, that's really all there is to it, um, so let's look at how it works in an example. So for this example, we're going to find the length, the length of the unknown side of a right triangle. Um, and here it is. Um, here's our right angle. And um, we, we know that this leg is, has a length of 10. This, one, this hypotenuse has a length of 26. And then we don't know the length of this side. Okay, so we have our Pythagoras theorem a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And we're going to plug in um, the values we know. So we know that one of the legs is 10. That, so we'll, we'll just say that's b. Or no, we'll say that's a. We'll plug that in for a. And we'll say this side over here is b and uh, this side is c. Okay, so in place of a, uh, we're going to write 10. And that'll be squared. Plus b squared. But we don't know what b is. So we're just going to leave that as b. Okay, squared equals c squared, and c we know is 26. Okay, squared. So the first thing we'll do is um, we'll square these numbers. So 10 squared is 100, 26 squared is uh, 676. So um, now, as the instructions, as the step told us, we want to solve for this unknown value b. So b is being squared. It's also um, be having 100 adding to it. So we're going to take away that 100. We're going to subtract 100 from both sides. And b squared equals 576. Okay, so now to get b by itself, we take the square root of both sides. So we get b equals 24. The square root of 576 is 24. Now, sometimes that won't come out to a nice even number. So you may have to round, or um, you can simplify the radical, finding the exact value um, as a third uh, or a simplified um, radical. Um, so again, as before, if you need to look up examples of how to do that, then um, I'd recommend um, Googling that for videos on, on how to do that. Otherwise, just plug it into your calculator and round if it's not an exact number. All right, that's it. Pretty quick one. So um, best of luck. See you next time.